Hey guys, it's Quinlan. Welcome back to my channel. So today I'm bringing you guys another weekend vlog. So I'm really excited about this one. It might be a tinge on the long side to be honest because or I could upload it as two separate vlogs. Mm -hmm. Okay, anyways, I'm just honestly in the mood to vlog and talk about books. I got really excited today. My friend and I, we talked about books a lot. I gave her The Paris Hours, which I really loved, and she gave me a book called The Luminous Republic. Let me get it. It's called A Luminous Republic by Andres, Andres Barba. And I honestly have no idea what it's about, but I'm excited because I know she has excellent taste in books. So I'm just really excited. We are really excited going to a llama farm this weekend for the 4th of July, which is kind of cool. I am excited though because I have a little bit of a book haul. Some books came in from Barnes & Noble and I can talk about what I'm reading right now. I have a lot to read. I have a video coming up that is Siri picking my TBR for me. So she ended up picking a lot of books for me, which was kind of my fault, but also kind of Siri's fault. So I have a lot to read. I have a lot to get done. I'm just really excited. Let's start with the book haul and then I'll talk about the books that I'm reading. Okay, so I've been really feeling historical fiction lately, to be honest. So the first thing I picked up, I don't know if this is like historical fiction, but it is like a classic and it is Catcher in the Rye by J.D. Salinger. So it's a little mini boy and I'm really excited. My friend again told me I have to read this because this is like the OG teenage angst novel. I might not read it quite yet. I might wait a little bit before getting around to it because I do have kind of a plan in terms of reading some classics, which you guys will find out more in a, in a couple weeks, which is exciting. So I got Catcher in the Rye. Then the rest of the books that I got are all historical fiction. So the first one is The Paris Seamstress by Natasha Lester. I'm excited about this one. This takes place in Paris, like I think in the early 1940s or maybe right before the war starts, I believe. And it takes place, I think it follows like a seamstress who's like fleeing the war and then her like great great granddaughter or her great or maybe just her granddaughter yeah probably just her granddaughter to be honest but I'm really excited for this one I've just honestly been really vibing with historical fiction lately I feel like I underappreciated this genre for so long as a kid and so now I'm kind of really coming into it on my own so that's exciting okay so the next book that I got was lovely war by Julie Berry and this one is another historical fiction I believe it also takes place right before World War II but it's told by the goddess Aphrodite which I think is really interesting I am just so excited to read about historical fiction I don't know it's just intriguing me lately I'm just uh, I'm just such in the mood for it Okay, so then of course I got Summer of 69 by El Aline Hinder Hilderbrand, which I thought looked really good. It's about this family in the summer of, you guessed it, 1969. And so I think there's a, a lot of like, obviously, a lot going on in the summer of 69. This also happens to be the summer my mom was born, which is kind of cool. She might end up liking it. I might end up recommending it to her. I'm just really hyped about all this historical fiction. I'm just, yeah. <laughs> And then finally, Burn by Patrick Ness, which I was kind of inspired to get by Peru's Project. I don't know if you guys watch her vlogs, but I do. And it's basically about 1950s America. And it takes place like in the Midwest. And I just think it'll be interesting. It has obviously like a fantastical element because there are dragons. But I think it'll also incorporate just like real historical like McCarthyism and the Red Scare. So I think that's kind of interesting and just cool. I find that historical fiction is just such a fun way to like kind of relive and learn more history. I don't think that my world history class did a really good job of teaching me world history and I honestly think that historical fiction will teach me a lot and it'll transport me back in time so I think that's really exciting. Okay and then books I'm reading right now I'm not really sure what to pick up because I just finished a book but I have some options and basically my options are well, of course there's A Luminous Republic, but I think I'm going to wait a little bit to start it. I'm not really sure. I want to read In Cold Blood by Truman Capote. I think I'll read a little bit of Ghosts of the Shadow Market by Cassandra Clare and a bunch of other authors. Um, Reese, Brennan, Johnson, Link, and Wasserman. I don't know their first names because I don't have the cover with me right now. 
but I'll probably read like at least one novella of this. I am not vibing with it as of late. I started it, I was really excited because it's about Jem, but I started it and I just don't think I vibe with the novellas as much as I vibe with Cassandra Clare's like real books. And I think part of it's like you can tell that other people helped her write it and I like her writing style, not other people's. And then I also just like don't care about all these like mini stories. Like I'm honestly like I just want to read one of her like full books. Like I, I'm not, I'm not vibing with this. And I heard that it was better because I hated the Bane Chronicles and so I was hoping that this would be a lot better but honestly just I'm just not loving it and it's kind of long so that kind of sucks and then of course I am also doing a reread I'm trying to read A Court of Thorns and Roses by Sarah J Moss I'm doing a reread of the series honestly kind of poor timing because I think that the new book will come out either next year or later this year I kind of forget I'm pretty sure I already pre-ordered it but I'll obviously reread it right before it comes out or when it comes out but I've just been, ever since I read House of Earth and Blood, I've been in the mood to read Sarah J Moss and I thought Akatar is easy because it's a lot shorter and it's just so good. So I really have been wanting to read this book for a while, but, or reread it, but I just haven't really gotten around to it. Like I've had so many other books. Luckily, you'll find out Siri actually picked this book out for me to read. So kind of hyped for that. Okay, so I'm going to go downstairs and help make dinner. I'll obviously take you guys along. I'm just really excited. So yeah, it's going to be a good reading weekend. I can already tell. Okay, so my caller sent me this really cute um, box with this hat and a bunch of buttons and a notebook and this book and then and there's a pen. pen. Look at this pen. It's so fancy. It opens up with its own triangular box. Oh, that's the wrong way. Very nice. Woo! Hey, good morning, guys. So, basically, I didn't film anything else on Thursday, and I didn't film anything on Friday because I was just kind of, like, going all around the place, and I didn't want to bring my camera along. But today is an exciting day because, first of all, it is the 4th of July, and second of all, we are going to a llama farm, an Airbnb, just to chill for the weekend, basically. So I'm kind of excited about that. So we're driving there. It's, I think, an hour and a half or maybe two hours away. So I'll be sure to film. And yeah, I'll just take you along on this weekend. I think it was ended up kind of being good that I just filmed on Thursday because I can just include this clip in the vlog and it's not a big deal. But yeah, woohoo! Hey guys, so I forgot to film the drive here, which actually was two and a half hours, but we are here at the llama farm and we're kind of saying it's really neat and this is basically like a converted silo type of place. So as you can see, the walls are circular, which is kind of interesting. I will give you guys a tour later, but first I wanted to show you guys the llamas and I'll give you an up close look at them later. I'm just going to show you them from afar for now because we're actually going to BJ's, which I'm really excited about. I guess there's probably one near where I live anyway, but when we went to Albuquerque on the way to Telluride with my friends, we stopped at BJ's and we had a really good pizookie, which is like a cookie with ice cream on top. It was so good. And so like I saw it on the list of restaurants nearby and I was like, we have to get food from there. So that's what we're doing. We're going to pick it up in a little bit. But in the meantime, I'll quickly show you the llamas and then a tour of the house. Okay, so here's the farm. There's one llama right there, if you can see it. Then some other llamas over there. I'll give you close-ups later because I already went to go pat the llama and there's some sheep, but I we have to leave soon so I don't want to go all the way over there. And then as you can see, the exterior of the house is really neat looking, but I'll give you a tour of the inside. And there's my dad. Okay, so here's the inside. Here's my brother, already set up with his video games, of course. And then, so it's just like, it's pretty small. It's a kitchen area, a little living room. There's a bathroom back there. We have a TV where I set you guys up earlier. And then all of our stuff, of course. And then if we head on upstairs, which I actually haven't been, my mom is probably napping. So I'll just give you a little look. 
and then this is it. We are staying here for the next couple of days. We'll be leaving Monday, so I'll probably end the vlog before we leave, but yes. I just got out of the shower basically but I just wanted to update you so what you saw were the llamas which are really cool we're like we are living like on a llama farm at the moment which is kind of sick and we'll try to feed them later we were trying to feed them this morning but they weren't coming to the gate and you have to feed them from behind the gate so they weren't like and you can't bring the feed inside so they weren't coming and so we're gonna wait and try later but I just wanted to update you I'm reading Ghost of the Shadow Market and I'm hoping to finish it today. I'm like about a little over halfway through, but I'm confident that if I really just like focus on reading today that I can get it done. It is a little bit hard because I do feel a little bit distracted, like there's other things going on, but I have an ambitious TBR, so I really want to get this done. Anyways, yeah. update you I have to be a little bit quiet because my mom and my brother are trying to sleep upstairs and it's all just like one big room so they can hear everything I wanted to let you know I finally finally finished Ghost of the Shadow Market and there were a lot of stories that I really didn't click with and there was a lot of the book where I honestly just felt like I was slogging through it and I felt like it was a chore to finish but towards the end I really liked the story
stories with like Tessa and I love the parts like with Jem and I thought the part like kind of the story at the end was really interesting. I liked the one in World War II with Tessa. So there were a couple in there that I really enjoyed and overall I would say they're definitely better than like the Bane Chronicles but I didn't love it as much as like one of her like full length books although I did like how the stories all kind of connected through like the lost Herondale but it was a little bit frustrating because especially in the beginning like having read obviously the dark artifices I knew obviously like Kit was the lost Herondale and so I was kind of like well I already know so it's not very like it, sh it was just like frustrating and it wasn't very suspenseful because I already knew what was going to happen kind of so that's kind of my thoughts I'm not really sure on like a rating yet I might give it like 3 or 3.5 out of 5 stars probably more towards 3 because after I finish a book like right after I always like get that like warm feeling in my chest and I always kind of like rate it more highly but then when I look back on it later I usually realize that it's not as good as I thought it was I feel like overall this is probably like a 3 out of 5 star book but individual stories were like 4 stars and individual stories were like 2 stars so it wasn't that like every story was like a 3 star if that makes sense but I just wanted to say good night thank you guys for coming along on this like fun little llama farm excursion the rest of the vlogs for the month will probably not be this exciting but I think it was a lot of fun to take you guys along. Thank you guys so much for watching. Leave a comment down below if you feel like it. And I'm excited to continue reading. I'm probably going to try to start a little bit of another book tonight. I know I talked about having a really ambitious reading weekend. And I really only got Ghost of the Shadow Market finished. But I'm going to try to pick up my pace a little bit. I think this was just like a thick book. And I just wasn't like ready to commit to it, I guess. But... Yeah, thank you guys so much for watching and bye!